Hey guys, this is Manshark Sub LPs. I'm Sub, this is Crusader Kings 2, and this is episode 186 of our Long Live the King playthrough. We are, of course, Filke Sigurdar Ring, the insane immortal disfigured ruler of all Scandinavia. I think I said ruler twice in there, but whatever. Uh, we're not at war with anybody. We do have our armies in various positions. We've got one up here ready just in case these guys try some funny shit. But I got a bit of a plan for them. Just gonna move them over this way. Seemingly innocently. And our other army is down here. Of course, being its usual self. Um, yeah, put Bjorn in control of that. Uh, it's just finished a war with the Mansurids, I believe. We got a truce with them. So we've got a truce with the Hashid Emirate for another three years. We got a truce with the Mansurids at that guy for another five. And the Byzantines for another four. And of course, with the, um, what is that, the Teutonic Order? Yep, the Teutonic Order, which doesn't own any land, so I don't give a crap about them. Now, uh, what we're going to do here is do a little bit of cleanup. I just feel like I'm in the mood for cleanup. Uh, first of all, we're going to declare war on the Hashemids as soon as we can for um, these two bits of land right here. Who is holding that? A Saab, which is a friendly. So they should all go to me. So I will move in that direction. We'll get there on the 12th of May. All right, that's good. Right, now the reason why we're moving our army over here is because there's an independent barony sitting in here. So they're going to come all the way along there, sit on there, then I'll declare war on him and get him. We might be doing that a lot. I don't know the exact mix-up of things, but you can see here we're in the independent states section of the ledger, page 10. See we're at the top with 2,904 realm size. That's every holding. Byzantines are next, then Canada, then the Mongols, then the Arabian Empire, the Karkota Revolt, which means that's pretty big. But what we're really interested in is if you scroll down here, there's a bunch of one realm size guys. Now I just clicked on this one because he's at the end, and it brings him up, you get rid of that, and it takes us straight to him. He's in there. Bang, there he is. But if we were to say go to the next one up, these one guys, I am 90% sure that these dudes are not in our realm. I'm wrong. And there they are, and there's actually a few of them, so we would then move there and take those. So over this episode and probably a couple of the re couple of the following episodes, we might do a little bit of that sort of follow-up. Alright, time to declare war on this loser. Who are you already at war with? Holy Wolf Axum. That's the one I'm going to take over basically. I can't tell you I'm taking over it. Can I offer to join war? Holy War for Axum. I mean, he'll get the land. I can't join it. Yep, of course. Well, that's just moderately annoying. It just means that I'll have to uh, declare my own. What do we have here? Conquest of Axum. Which one's Axum? That one there. Cool. So who's actually got the land? The County of Asav. So that's the one which is winning at the moment. That one there for 19%. That one's at 13%. And this one is for Prepared Invasion of Medina, which is actually directly against him and is 85% in favour of the Sultan. That's probably some shit up here. Yeah. I don't think we can actually get involved in this one either. No. Yeah, we've got to actually be supporting reasonable claims. Alright, um, well, let's just declare a straight up war. It's a holy war for Axum, and that'll get us those two provinces. Uh, other options would have been Basra, which is, I've just clicked off it because I'm fucking incompetent some days. Give me a break, it's a bit late. Basra, which is that whole thing in there. Shewa, which is that one in there, and Taberistan, which is that bit up there, or Tabriz, which is that bit there. Not interested in those at the moment, just interested in Axum. In we go. 
we're already at 42% because of these ones. He does have a bit of an army there, but, you know, we'll deal with that. These guys can just sit in there and do their own thing. Okay, the Thracian Conquest has been declared on this. This guy has so many wars against him, like... <sighs> Hang on, is that a new bloke? No. Still the old bloke. Still not murderable. Shame. Nope. Twelve titles can be created. Just checking to make sure they're all the same ones as all before. They are good. Oh, I really don't want to give... It. You know what? I'm just going to purge all the plots real quick. 312! Holy shit! It's important not to uncheck that at the moment, because... If we did, we'd get 312 messages saying, Oh, thank you for, uh, you know, letting me know the error of my ways and all that sort of bullshit. We're down to eight. These are probably just the ones I can't end. So now we can uncheck it. Whew, all right. Small fight there. Not my deal. Just check my family. Yep, all good. Oh. So. Ah, oh, that one down there. Well, good work. Good work. Zikri Heresy has appeared in Ghana, which... Yep, that's that one in there. That's all right. I mean, whatever. It'd be a pain if we get like a rebellion down there. It's probably a white piece. Yep. Shame, I could have really used a Malfi. Oh, hey, he's got some land up here as well. Always forget about that. Oh, good on him. Just see if we can build anything in Varberg. We can. Let's put in the keep. Cool. And we should get a siege complete in a moment. Holy war for somebody on something. Man, sucks to be for Byzantine right now. Alright, uh, we'll have this one shortly. We're at 27%, so something must have happened in another one of the war. Hello. The Byzantine would like to marry my daughter. Now that would give an alliance, wouldn't it? I have no interest in having an alliance with you. Maybe earlier on I would have, so that I could have either tried to get one of my dynasty on the throne or some sort of claim regarding that, but not now. A little late in the game for that. Oh, looks like we nabbed the county of Veglia. Whoa. Sorry, guys. Stop that right now. Get back to your siege. The perils of left-clicking. Veglia. Where's Veglia? Oh, that's this up here, right? Yeah, nice. Good work. So that was that one there, and yep. Just a nice little conquest of Kirikan. Yeah, not bad. Keep it up. Mm. 
quick kid. Someone died in the dungeons. Really shouldn't be terribly surprised. We've got a lot of people in there. Including like a princess of Mali for some reason. Well, we've got a few in there who don't mind us, so... You, you're Norse, you're like... a oh, baroness to one of the peasants. Can you be ransomed? Yeah, why not then? You're like one. That's fine. Oops, Kane prospers. Good on it. Good. Okay. Good. 38%. And the army has arrived up here. Excellent. You. You're a Christian, so you probably won't go for that, but it's time for a little war. Yep, and it'll just be... Let's whack him in charge. And we'll just wait it out. No need to assault or anything like that. Barracks in Hamishus. Got a thousand. So let's put in the stables. Two more siege ticks and we'll have this one. So I pause to take a quick drink. Yep, good. 52. And we're going to... Like, as soon as we take this one, we're going to go down to this one and try and, like, beat beat up that army there. I might put Arsa in control of the army while we send them down, just so that we've got... Um... Hello, what did we get? Hey, we took a Malfi! Oh, thank you. Good work, boys. And also, Yarl of Tunis took something off onto somebody else. That's right. Good work getting a Malfi, guys. Now, it's not a citizenry thing, whatever. But that's excellent news because now we'll begin to take Sicily into the, um, like, out of the Byzantine Empire. Oh, but good work. Very good work. Now, if somebody could take fucking Leptus Magna out of there. I'd be pretty appreciative of that. I don't even know what wars this guy's in anymore. Neutral. Neutral. Practically neutral. He's winning that one. It's a holy war for Jerusalem. He's losing that one. It's a conquest of Zeta. And he's losing that one, which is a holy war for Syria. So the holy war for Syria is just for these bits here, which is pretty nice, actually. And I believe Zeta is... Up here somewhere. There, that one. Yeah. Good on you. These guys are taking attrition because of winter. It's not too much, so I don't care. Alright, come on guys, let's take this place. Quick smart now. Two more siege ticks. One more siege tick. There we go. Nicely done. Gonna put Asa in control of that and march on down to those guys. Won't take us too long to get there. Alright. 7th of February. They will have the advantage, but I don't think it'll be too bad. The Manchurid Sultanate have joined in this war. That's fine. We have a truce and everything, but that's fine, guys. Alright, here's our fight. They're pretty good. i got to be honest, they've got pretty decent commanders, but we've got the weight of numbers. And even in this remote mountain pass, that's enough. Okay, that siege is finished up here. Thank you. Now what I'm going to do... Ledger... Um, let's just have a look at the Teutonic Order. They're in the Barony of something or other, which is over here. Ugh, that's going to be annoying. To... Oh, that's in the Mongol Empire, so I don't care. 
If it's in somebody else's land, don't give a shit. Now this one, I believe, was down here, so that's somewhat annoying. I can pull up 5,000 troops out of it, though, so... Okay. I know how I can cover that. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this. What's this? Ah, some land up here. Excellent. Head on up there. They'll probably get there sometime mid-March. This battle is won. Looks like we've lost a um, commander at some point. Was it in this fight? No. Oh, let's just promote a new one. Cannibal, huh? No, I think I'd prefer Gandalf. Alright, good. That's one battle there, and then we're going to march back into this one anyway, so let's do it. We'll actually get in there before them, so we'll get the benefit of the mountains. Okay, these guys are still moving, but they're almost done. Um, when they're actually moved, there we go. Going to declare war on this guy. Hey, you. War. For your holdings. Done. Because they're holding fights, um, I don't have to worry too much about uh, what do you call it? Distributing land afterwards, because it all automatically happens. Alright, so it's only these ones here in Samara. So there's three places. This place has about 2,300 in that one. About 2,000 in that one. Roughly 1,800 in that one. So the total troop raise here, 6,000, can handle all of them. We declare war on all of these guys at once. Uh, just checking, yep, he's Sunni. So Samara Holdings, he's Sunni, so Samara Holdings, and this guy is also Sunni, so Samara Holdings, and then we just raise the troops, get myself out of a fight, maybe put in somebody, somebody CG, like Bjorn, yeah, and that's all they need. And they can just sit there and do that. Now, we can't re-declare. Oh, I got my concubine pregnant. Oh, that's a cute one as well, so good on me. Also, the one who is cheating on me. <sighs> I know. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we can't... Um... Are they going to wag? Fine, we'll chase them through to wag. We can't declare any new wars while that army is still raised in um, up here in Samara which is fine okay 93% now where are you going back to Axum lovely we can get there before you which is that good there we go, 1.8%, so we're at 95% in this war. Alright, well, I guess we're just going to sit there. How are you boys doing up here? Pretty well. 16%. Percents, wow. 15%, yeah. We'll just let these guys... Punch through this. Um, will I get them to punch through? Yeah, why not? Whoops. I accidentally clicked too many times there, which can be a little bit of an issue. But it turned out alright, because now we're at 100%. Which means we've won the war. Now, this one I will have to redistribute lands for. Thank you. And in fact, I can usurp the Emirate of Semyon? Ah, which is this little one in here. 
Right, because he stopped being at war or something. I can also make the Emirate of a Duchy of Axum, which I will do immediately. Create that. Yep, and we're going to use up that. Thank you. Right, so Semyon was these two places. So Grant landed title. Duchy of Semyon. Good lad. Now this one here, the Chief Deaths of Masawa, should own these ones. But we'll distribute these out properly first, so there's no issues there. Here you can see we also didn't take a couple of the places off them. It's going to be annoying because we can't really do anything about that. But whatever. Okay, where are we? Yardum of Axum with all that entails. Bang. Come on. Yep. So it's just that the, um, the Hashemids have a few territories that, you know, they shouldn't have. Okay, so now we've got Truces of Manchurids and the Hashemids. Um... These guys are currently involved in Holy Wars for Mercuria and Blemia. So if I go for something in Gajam, let's just have a look for that because that might have changed. Mercuria, Blemnia, and Mercuria. Yeah, so if I go for Gajam down here, which I can't do yet because we've got those troops raised. But if I go for this, that gives our guys a pretty good chance of dealing with everything else. Not to mention, I can probably fuck off these guys up here. You know what? Head up here into this one, and then we can attack in there and steal all their shit. And by steal their shit, I mean defeat them militarily. All right, how you dudes doing? Good, going fine. And you guys, also fine. That's new. He's new. Mongols, did you split up again? Yeah, it looks like they split up again. Good. Yeah, he was the last guy. And now the current guy is... Buddhist! That's weird. Are you still leading from the same spot? Or like, what's going on? Yes, still leaning from the same spot. That is interesting. Buddhist. He doesn't... I don't know whether he's, he should still have the Mongol conquest thing. But he won't have crusades or anything like that. So that's very interesting. Okay, this one's almost done. It is done. And so is one of the ones down in Arabia. So, end that. Thank you. Yep, cool. End that. Thank you. Okay. And that means that these other two ones are just progressing all right. Yep. Still got him in charge. It's fine. These guys are moving around. All right. Let's have a look at the ledger again. Yep. That's one of mine. Get your ass up there. There's actually three there that we could deal with. Good. And we can deal with them with the retinue as well, which means uh, it's going to be a little bit easier to manage. We've finished some study of war, so let's continue studying war. Let's have a look at our tech. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. What's the next thing we can get there? Church town, fuck that. And what about over here? We've got shipbuilding. No, I want siege equipment next. We're pretty close to it. Oh, hey, special type of upland. If it's excellent, it means that we can buy a lot of shit. Um, the keep. And Borgholm, you can buy the Huskar training ground. Nazborg, were you done? Yeah. And I know that 
groups home and so on are all done as well. Awesome. These guys are in position, but we are currently waiting on these guys. Now they're at a... Mosque. Pretty sure that there's no troops to raise for a little while. 500 out of there. 2,000 out of there. Not enough to make enough of a difference. Um, that fort might be really annoying when we get to it, but we'll see when we get to it, huh? We are currently threatening, which probably means... Every man and his damn dog is in the pack. Yep. Um, so we'll just get rid of that real quick. Because fuck that shit. Oh, jeez. Whose army is that? Right, it's a bunch of them. 8,000 from the Yarl of Nabachevo. And a load ah, right. The Mulhalabids, who are the nominal rulers of this area, are actually running away. So they've actually dealt with that themselves. And they've got a lot of wars. Blemia, Mercuria, Sana, which is just a conquest. Don't know where. Probably somebody else's. Yeah, Hashid. That one's Blemia. Mercuria, Wag, yeah, fuck it. Let's get our asses down here. Ah, oh, good, we build a keep in Viborg, which means that we can build something else, and I'm going to go for the house car training ground. Just seems a bit logical. Okay, we can get those guys in there, but we can't declare war just yet. But we've almost got these guys done. Boom. Yes, yes, great. Hey, come on. It's this one. Done. Thank you. Now we're just waiting on this one, which will take a little bit longer. Um, assign guardian. Can I be your guardian? Yes, I'm in that position. Thank you very much. Yeah, it'll take a little bit, but, you know, it'll get there. I swear I didn't actually open that. Alright, we just have to wait. Okay... The other children are not nice to me. You'll go strong from it. Well, she became stressed, but you know. She'll get over it. I swear. Um, alright. Let's have a look at some of these hospitals. Particularly the one in Upland. Alright, nothing there that gives me extra um, tech points. So let's have a look at the one up in Gastric Land. Yeah, it's obviously got a lot of work to be done on it. Actually, I think, yeah, they all have a lot of work to be done on them. And we've got one more on Alland, I think. Yep. So that's good. It's given us something to spend some money on, at least. How you doing, Byzantium? 22,000. And the Mongols, looks like you're at war with some people. Mongol war for Kiva. And that's against... Bukhara? Yep. Uh, yeah, fair enough. He's winning that one, obviously. He's defending as part of the Medinian conquest of Sana. Interesting. And he is defending against something about revoking WAG. That's interesting. So what is he 
Yeah, he's allied to Sana. Because of a betrothal. Huh. Well. Cool. He's also only got 30,000 of his event troops left, which is fine. I'm pretty damn confident that we can deal with him now. Okay, so this guy declared a holding, the holding war, not a holy war, for Cairo, which is good. It prevents me from having to do that. Particularly seeing as now we've got a truce of that dude. Temple holding, finish construction in Axum. Whoa, okay. Um, well, we're going to give it to this one. We're just going to give of the temple. I don't want that. Alright, I think we're going to have two more siege ticks before we take this place. Yep, that's about right. And when we finish that up, we'll end the episode. Oh, it looks like there's a... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, and pause. The, the Mongols are revolting. What for? An independence war. Okay. He's got 28,000. And the actual Mongol Empire has 41,000. Okay. That puts a little bit of a... Um, Tire in the spokes or whatever. Let's just finish this damned war off down here. Very good. Uh, call the court physician. Yep, sure, whatever. Get rid of these dudes. Tell this guy I've won. Thank you very much. Yep, I know. Right. Um, we'll consider what to do with this in the off time and I'll come back to you with that uh, next episode. But in the meantime, I've been sub. You've been yourselves. Later.